waking up in the morning and just turning around and be like, you love me, <laughs> I love you. You know, so like in a way that just feels warm. They feel like family. I'm Yari Jones and this is Dating Prep. I am happily taken. <laughs> We've been dating for about three years now. We're coming up on our anniversary. Definitely one of the most profound relationships I've ever been in. Being understood, being cared for in a way that is just wholesome. I think my self-care as a trans woman differs from other people in the community by it being constant. In the morning time, I'm making sure I'm like centering myself. I'm making sure I have the best outfit for me, you know, looking good. I'm making sure I'm taking care of my mental health, my sexual health, I'm taking my prep. I feel like when I check off those things for my list, like I'm able to like go out into the world and be my best self. I was always a visual artist. I was the kid sketching, drawing, painting was something I could just do by myself. So I would wake up at like four or five o'clock in the morning, throw on some Sade, and just start painting. And I realized I kept painting figures of bodies that look like mine, so bigger bodies, trans bodies. Not only was I expressing myself, but it was also healing. Okay, I fall quickly very quickly. In my head, I'm like, oh, I already could see the vision, right? We're about to get married. <laughs> but there have been times where I'm like, God damn, like I wish I would have, you know, waited just a little bit longer to like express feelings to make sure we were on the same page. Oh, my great grandparents, they have been together for 68 years but had a 20 year break and then they got back together and now they're like settled in Georgia, living their best lives, traveling, they're never home. I, I love that relationship because, you know, love always stayed there. I feel like a common thing that I experience within dating, um, being a trans woman is people needing, needing to prove their masculinity to me. And I don't know if it's a thing to like affirm me or to affirm them. I remember going on this date and we had a great night and I was like, let me walk you to your car. I don't need to be walked to my car, like I'm a man. It just became such a problem, like as if this idea that I was a threat to someone's role that they needed to play. I feel like it's tough. People have told us that the way we live, the who, who we love, how we want to show up is wrong. But you know, I have found that dating queer people is an act of resistance, that we are worthy of love. When you are constantly met with so much hate for basically existing, having to choose joy to be like, I am going to live my life to the fullest. I am going to be happy. I am going to search for love. Despite everything that people are telling you, it feels like, you know, things of a superhero. It feels like things of magical people. So when I see it, I know what that person had to do to be able to celebrate that. And um, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's been tough because you're constantly helping the people that either desire you or have interests in you. You're constantly helping them unpack what they know about you or what they think they know about you. Sometimes we can't just wait on possibility. You have to look out for you. When you come into a partnership, it's like, you know, I'm looking for forever. 